Good morning, y'all. This is uh, another day on Alan's vlogs. And today, we're going to be doing a, a baking session with Alan. And also some Q&A. You know, y'all yeah, be asking me some questions. So, I'm going to answer some of those today. You know, get anything uh, you wanted to know about Alan, you know, answered. But I thought I would also share, you know, some baking secrets that I have. So, let me show you my supplies here. Alright, so I'm using this Easy Bake Oven here. You know, it makes it easy. and You don't need that many supplies. All I really need is a little plate here to serve it on. Some measuring spoons and a nice bowl and spoon for mixing. All right, so let's get this thing started. Unbox the Easy Bake Oven and answer some of your questions. All right, that looks good. You know, I've decided to invest in a tripod so I can do my vlogs a little easier, you know. Um, like this one today, it's gonna be perfect. All right, so let's unbox this Easy Bake Oven. Well, I got it from Amazon, it didn't cost too much, so that was nice. And it comes here with uh, some different mixes. We got the uh, the chocolate chip cookie, pink cookie, so some different options. We can decide which one we want to cook today. All right, let's open this up. All right, everything is unboxed here. We got the uh, the actual oven. Um, it also came with the, uh, the spatula, so that's good. A little mini tray to you know cook your things on, and again the bacon mixes. And there are also some instructions, so I'm gonna start reading these so you can figure out how to get cooking. All right, looks like we gotta preheat the oven, and so there's this uh, pink dial here that says off and on. I'm just gonna switch it on. All right, easy bake oven light is on, and it is starting to preheat. Now while the oven is preheating. We have to get our mixes ready, um, and let's see what instructions are needed for those. So I'm gonna open this up. Looks like we got a few different options here. We got a uh, chocolate chip cookie mix. We also got a pink sugar cookie mix. That sounds nice. We also got a lemon frosting and a uh, chocolate frosting mix. So I guess the uh, the lemon frosting goes with pink cookies and the chocolate frosting goes with chocolate chip cookies. You know, I think I'm gonna save the chocolate for later and I'm gonna go with the uh, pink sugar cookie and the lemon frosting mix. So let's get those started. So I'm gonna grab my mixing bowl with a spoon and it says pour one pink sugar cookie mix and pour one and four teaspoons of water into a bowl. Stir and press the mixture together to form the dough. So I'm gonna get some water and I'll be right back. All right, well I got my water in the bowl and now I'm gonna pour the mix in and we are gonna stir this all up. Oh, it's very pink, look at that. Very sugary, but it will taste very nice. Look at that in the bowl, very pink there. Let's mix that on up. Very clumpy, might, might need some more water. But you know what, I'm just gonna follow the instructions and that's all it said. All right, so I think the dough is starting to form here and it's almost ready for me to get my hands in there and uh, form the two little cookies on the tray. Remember y'all, wash your hands before doing this, make sure they're clean. All right, well, here's a little tray and the dough is just about ready. But you know, I think it's looking a little too sticky. Um, the instructions did say to get some extra flour, put it on your hands, uh, just so it makes sure it won't stick to you. I'm gonna put a little extra in there, sprinkle it in there. And then mix it all up. Oh, and a little flour all over the floor. I'll have to clean that up later. All right, still need a little more. Oh, sometimes you have know, bacon, you just gotta mix it until it, uh, it works for you. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little flour on my hands like I said. And now we're just gonna take the, uh, the dough out and fold them into two little cookies on the tray. All right, well. This is all for the sticky. Hopefully it works well. So, just gotta form two little balls. Don't have to be perfect, you know, this is not a baking show where be like, you know, you gotta make it look all nice and fancy, but you know, whatever, whatever will taste good and uh, make it quick and easy. Wow, so this is sticky. Look at my hands, they're all pink. Um, I'm going to quickly wash up and then I'll be right back. So we don't need this anymore. We already mixed up our, uh, our dough. As you can see, there's two little well, circles there on the pan. This is going to be our cookies. And eventually we will have our, uh, our frosting for the middle of the cookies. Um, but you never want to put the frosting on too early, especially if those cookies are still hot. It will melt the icing right off. All right, let's look at the rest of the instructions and we're almost done here. All right, so based on the instructions, we need nine minutes of baking time. So I'm gonna get this handy dandy spatula. Because uh, I never want you to touch the, uh, the oven without your spatula. I'm just gonna put the tray right here on the spatula. And I'm gonna put it right in. Oh, looks like I'm doing it the wrong way. All right, you gotta do it this way. 
the the hole the opening uh, is kind of small and narrow, so you got to do it long ways. All right, let's just stick that on in. Doesn't even feel like it's all the way in. How do you even get it out? Went all the way out. Oh, from the other side, it looks like you're gonna be pushing it out. I see, so I'm just gonna push it all the way into the oven. Hopefully it's in there now. Hmm, you know what, I don't know. I think something got messed up here. I don't think I put it in right. Let me see here. I might have it all stuck in there. Hmm, I'm gonna read the instruction. Let me make sure I did this right. I did not. Looks like the door isn't closed all the way. You know what? I think I actually should have put the tray in the opposite way. Uh, and so I gotta redo this. All right, y'all still having some technical difficulties over here. But you know, I'm just hoping the wall work out in the end. So give me a second here. All right, well, I managed to get the tray back out. I'm gonna put it in the right way. All right, let's just slide this on in. Hopefully it uh, wants to cooperate here. It is not doing a very good job. All right, let's just slide it on in. Still seems to be having some trouble here. Oh, let me use the pusher side instead of the spatula side. All right. Okay, I think we're all good. Both the, the metal flaps closed on both sides, so that's what the instruction said. And now I'm going to set the timer for nine minutes. All right, start for nine minutes, you know, and we'll also have to get started on the frosting, but you know, while we let it bake, I'm going to answer some of those questions that y'all were asking me. All right, the first question from the Livy Show said, here's my question. Why do you hate the Share Fam, including Grace, David, and Joe? Well, I don't hate the Share Fam. I do love them. They're very nice people. Mark said, do you work for one of the hacker organizations like Project Zorro, the Quadrant, the GMI? Uh, I'm not really sure what you mean by that. GMI? That that sounds like a weird name. I'm not really sure what that one. I haven't heard it about any of those. Y'all should tell me more in the comments about what those organizations are. The Savages team said, when is your birthday? Well, my birthday, uh, my birthday is November 4th. Won't tell you the year though, but November 4th. Keep an eye on it. Jolene KJ said, what is your favorite childhood memory? Hmm. For my favorite childhood memory, I'd probably have to say, you know, time with my sister Karen. We used to play outside all the time, ride our bikes in the neighborhood, and, you know, that was a lot of fun, just being kids. Now, this person said, how much friends do you have and how do you get them? Is Karen a real twin? We look very similar. We're actually not twins, twin-like, but, uh, we're just sisters. Um, I do have a few friends, you know, they're not YouTubers and they're not in the media, so you're not going to say their names, you know, but I do consider myself a friend of the Share Fam. I know we've had her our back and forth, but uh, I do consider them some of my friends. Another person asked, where's Karen? Why hasn't she been with you? Well, my sister Karen lives all the way back in Virginia, so she ain't out here in California. Um, I do see her occasionally, but you know, I haven't seen her in a little bit, you know, I hope I'm gonna see her again. Someone asked, do you have a husband? I do not have a husband. Thank you for asking. Uh, Andrew asked, what is Stephen Sher's real name? Uh, Stephen Sher, of course. That's a silly question. <laughs> Yvonne said, do you like pets? I do. I, I have a few cats myself. Why are you after the shares and what is a time machine? Can you do a house tour? How many covers do you have? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Ooh, that's a mouthful. Um, I'd say my favorite color is purple. I think I said that in a previous video too. Really do love the color purple. Although, you know, I'm a fan of a lot of colors. So anything that's, you know, nice, like blues, uh, reds, uh, black is nice too. Um, can I do a hair store? You know, I, I, I was thinking about doing a bedroom tour and, you know, showing off some of my, my outfits in my closet, so, you know, comment down below if y'all want to see a, a room tour from Ellen. I do have a car. I have a, I have an older Mustang that, you know, I've refurbished recently, so, um, I really do enjoy riding that one around town. Other than that, I, I usually do a lot of walking. Beverly Hills is nice for walks. Uh, Amy asks, what is your favorite lipstick? Uh, you know, I would have to say I like a lot of lipsticks from, uh, that, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, he has a YouTube channel himself. He has a lot of nice lipsticks, so a lot of different color options to select from. But, you know, I try to branch out to, to other, uh, cosmetics lines as well. This one's not really a question. It's more of a comment. It says, you should go on a date with Stephen Chair. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen, but that's funny. That's a funny suggestion. Ian said, who do you work for? 
I don't work for anyone, I work for myself. That's a silly question. Michael said, where were you born? Well, I was born here in Beverly Hills, California, born and raised, so I'm a true uh, Cali girl. Oh, Michael had another question. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal has got to be cats. Um, you know, always, always a favorite. I grew up with cats, and uh, I still have a few cats myself, so they're roaming around here somewhere. And then Sarah said, how old were you? Oh, Sarah, you should know never to ask anyone their age. So, you know, I won't be answering that question, but I did tell you on my birthday, which is November 4th. Pro Gamer didn't ask a question, but did say make more videos, and so I'll, I'll be making more videos. So, you know, if there's anything you want to see from Ellen, just comment down below any of your video suggestions. I do read my comments, so I'm fully aware of what y'all are saying. All right, and that looks like that's all the questions that I had today. Looks like we only have a minute left uh, with our bacon, so we're just about done here with our cookies. So I'm gonna get the, uh, the frosting ready to go. Let's read the instructions for that one. So it says for the frosting, pour the lemon frosting mix right here, and a half a teaspoon of water into the bowl. Stir until smooth and set aside for the cookies. All right, we'll have a mixing bowl again, ready to do the frosting. Uh, just gotta get my spoons again, and we'll be ready to go for the frosting. Okay. Oh. All right. We're just gonna since the cookies are done, we're just gonna push it all the way through to the other side. And should be ready. Oh, I see the tray coming out there. Gotta be careful because the tray's probably hot. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, tray out here. All right, got my spatula. All right, there we go. And the cookies are all ready. All right, just gonna set them down right there and let them cool off a bit. Feel soft yet hard on the outside, so it should be nice, chewy center. All right, well, let's get working on that icing. All right, got my water in the bowl, got my icing pie for that lemon icing. I'm just gonna pour it in there and mix it all together. Ooh, nice and yellow, but this will taste good. Mix that on up, not as colorful as the pink, but still a nice color. All right, I think the icing's just about done. It's a nice, gooey texture. Uh, looks like icing can get a little taste, make sure. Mmm, very lemony. All right, since the tray has cooled down a little bit, I can uh, hold it to scrape these uh, cookies off the plate. All right, looks like they stuck a little bit, but you know, they didn't provide any cooking oil to spray down the pan, so just had to do as is. And we're almost done here. First cookie is out, second cookie is coming along. Okay. I flipped both of the cookies to the bottom side so you can put the icing in the middle and the nice part of the cookie, the pink side, will be the exterior. Oh, it's like a little cookie sandwich. All right, so I have the two cookies here and I'm just going to put the icing in the center between them. Okay, oh, it got a little messy there. I'm going to scrape all of the icing, make sure I don't miss a bit. All right, it looks a little, a little messy. I'll just put the cookie right on top. Wow. All right, you know, it, it ended up looking a little messy, but turned out a little better than I expected. So now we'll do the final taste test. Well, I know the icing sure already tastes good, it tastes very lemony, so let's see how the actual cookie tastes. Overall, I think the cookie turned out pretty good. The icing is very nice, very sugary and lemony. Um, the cookie's pretty good, might be a little underdone in the center, but you know, we'll just have to watch the cooking time for the next one. But you know, we still have the chocolate chip uh, cookie mix, so uh, we'll have another bacon video that I can be doing, you know, another Q&A. So, you know, keep those comments coming with uh, any questions you have for Ellen. Have a good one. Over and out.